Hey everyone, who wants to learn dragonfly? <laughs> I'm gonna take you through some steps to get you flying like a dragon. So we're gonna start by working into the wrists because we're obviously going into a deep extension in the wrist. So to start with, Let's have fingertips towards the knees, work back and forwards, make some circles, move around, notice how the wrists feel. I want you to grip the ground with the fingers as well. This will also help to protect the wrists. From there, just work into the flexion as well. Just check in, turn the armpits of the elbows forwards and then just gentle rocks back and forth. From there, Place the hands onto the ground and then we're just going to raise the heels of the hands up, get some heat into the wrists. So just raising up and down. And then going into the back of the hands again. This time the backs of the hands are on the ground. We're going to press through the back of the hands and then bring our hands into fists. Back out, push and lift. Rather than just going kind of bouncing off those two positions, I want you to actively think about pushing the backs of the hands and the fingers into the floor. Also just strengthening the wrists and getting some heat into them before we balance. Okay, obviously spend a bit longer in those if you feel you need it. I'm just gonna try and keep this video nice and short, so I recommend maybe sort of a minute in each. A minute in the extension, minute in the flexion, mix it up. Uh, the next thing that we are gonna do is just go through like a really basic flow to warm up the body. So we're gonna start in a plank position Step back, tuck the bum under, squeeze the thighs, the shoulders are going to lead and lower down nice and slow. From there, push up into an upward dog, engage the tops of the legs, lengthen out through the spine, then lift the hips downward dog. Walk through the feet, don't worry about the heels touching the ground, you can keep the knees as bent as you need to, okay? Let's keep the shoulders open, get that flexion in the shoulder. And then from there, come forwards back to plank, shoulders lead lower down. Push through into an upward dog, back to downward dog. And we'll just do that once more. Maybe walk through the feet a little. Come up to the top, lower down, into an upward dog, engaging the tops of the legs, and then downward dog. From here, we're gonna lift the eyes, step or jump, and then straight away, sit down, onto your bum. So this next one that we're gonna come into is to open up the hips. Obviously we're coming into quite a big rotation to get into this pose. When I show you how to get into it, you'll see. So I'm gonna take one leg over the top of the other thigh, and then from here, I'm just gonna gently push this top knee away. It's really important to keep this top foot flexed, and then also notice if there's anything funky going on in the knee. If your body's telling you there's something wrong with your knees now, then I highly recommend not to be attempting this balance today, okay? So just notice how the hips feel, move about in them. It might feel nice to take the legs across and then back. You should be feeling this in the outer hip and glutes. From there, we'll go on to the other side again. Please spend a bit longer in these. Keep the top foot flexed. You can pull the bottom leg in and you can push the top knee away. And again, the focus is really working into that outer hip and the glute. Keep breathing and yeah, noticing if there's anything funky going on in the knees. And then from there, place the hands on the knees, make some circles. A few circles going one way, a few circles going the other way. From here, take the knees to one side, add a little twist. Take them to the other side. Don't worry if they don't touch the floor. Keep the shoulders down on the ground and then draw them in. And then from here, we're just gonna rock up, sit up tall. And then from this next one, we're coming into a bit more of a twist. So let's come into a sort of squat position. And then from there, we're gonna hug the outer thigh and just feel this rotation through the trunk of the body. See how this knee here has popped forwards? We want to squeeze them together and pull that back. 
If this is too challenging to balance right now, then kneel down on one side, okay? And then do the same on the other side, add a little twist. And then back to the center. From here, we're gonna go into crow. So for crow pose, let's have the hands shoulder width, grip the ground with the fingers, and then we're gonna place the legs on top of the arms. So I need to stick my bum up into the air, collect the legs, and then start to lift the feet up. So I'm pushing hard into the ground, my eyes are forwards. I'm not sinking the weight down low. Think about pushing it up or pushing down hard, lifting the knees pulling the feet up to the bum, and then from there come out. So you can do a few of those first. We're just warming up, remember, from here. So now we're gonna add a side crow, and this is also gonna prep and open up that rotation in the body. So from your kneeling position, we're gonna take the hands over to one side. We're going to have not the back elbow into the hip. We're gonna try this variation where the hands are shoulder width. So from here, we're gonna collect the outer thigh, Press hard into the ground and pull the feet up. Come down and then do the same on the other side. Add a little twist. Take the hands out, lift the outer hip, pull the feet up. And back down. Okay, so those are your side crows, both sides. Obviously do a few more of those as well if you feel like you need a little bit more heat in the body. Um, and then from here, we're going to add quite a deep twist. So if this one feels too much, go back to these rotations and just keep working on your side crows. Um, this next one, what I'm gonna do is place one leg on top of my thigh, kind of like I did for my reclining pigeon at the start. And now from there, I'm gonna try and get this arm onto the sole of my foot. So around my tricep if I can, so really reach it forward and then open the chest and sit tall. Don't worry if the minute, if you're not above the elbow, when it comes to the balance, you may find you're then restricted there. And that's more the rotation that you're then struggling with. Okay, and then we'll switch to the other side. Leg goes on top. This arm's gonna reach over onto the sole of the foot and then add a little twist. So again, in all of these postures, there should be absolutely no pain. Listen to your body, guys. So we've done the twist either side. And obviously, as I said a few times already, just spend a little bit more time in that one as well. Really heat up the body. So from here, we're going to have a go at our dragonfly. You can do this from standing. I'm gonna show you from seated. I need to kind of be able to bring my foot on top of my thigh and relatively be able to balance here, okay? I'm gonna take my arms to the, out, to the sole of my foot. So both hands are over that side. And now I've got to try and get this foot above my elbow. So I'm going to think about rotating and twisting deep into the trunk of the body so the foot is above the elbow, rather than trying to force the foot up there using my hand. So add that twist and that rotation. And now from here, I'm going to think about my crow pose, tip forwards. And now this back leg can extend out. Engage the leg muscles in the back leg as well. Don't just let it hang, because it's going to make you feel heavier. So lift it up, push hard into the floor. And there you go, now we're in our dragonfly. And then we obviously want to do it on both sides. This is the one I struggle with, but you gotta do it. So I'm gonna go on top of the thigh with the foot. We're gonna fall over in a minute. Add a little twist, flex this top foot as well. Add your twist, really try and rotate deeply from here into the trunk of the body. And then come into your crow, extend the leg. See how my shoulders can come down a bit as well. So my shoulder is sort of in line, or more so in line with my elbow. So think about bending the arms a bit too in that position, you'll feel a little bit more uh, stability. I do anyway, you may be different. Um, so that's your dragonfly both sides. Make sure that you've thoroughly warmed up before you try that one, guys. Make sure the hips are really open, wrists are really warm, and then whatever you do, just don't force anything if it doesn't feel good. Uh, but have fun with that one and I'd love to see how you get on with it. So if you've got any photos or videos, please send them my way and uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks guys.